Hello YouTube. So I just wanted to do a quick share of my Spring Break 2017 album that I finished yesterday. Uh, I finished it on Memorial Day, so pretty good uh, to finish a, a Spring Break album from March and April in by the end of May, right? So it's pretty good. Anyway, <clears throat> wanted to share. There's the cover. This is just an album I got. It was a hot buy at Michael's, so I got it for $5.00. I just wanted something that kind of said travel adventure just a little bit. So, And one of the pages a little bit later on actually has that same title, Adventure Awaits. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is just a little quick title page that I made at the very end because I wanted something to kind of introduce the album. This is a really cool acetate piece. There you go. With the flamingos. And then this is just a piece of 6x6 six six paper with some thickers. And these stickers are by Glitz Designs. That's probably the only time, the only page I'll know all of that about, but there you go. So the first page of the album is just about going to Waffle House the morning of our flight. Then on the plane. Let's see if I can. Next page is, uh, it's actually, these two were kind of the same day, the same event. We went to the beach. I love all the layering on this piece and just a little touch of the gold with those glittery thickers. This page, I have several favorite pages in here. This would be another one of them. Um, I'm going to try to raise you guys up just a little bit here. Maybe I don't have to move things around quite so much. So there you go. I did cut these on my Cricut and then watercolored them myself. This background paper is called Market Street. It's in one of my earlier videos to this page uh, from that, what I did at the retreat a couple months ago. This is just a page about the food we ate and the places that we went. This one kind of goes with it because this photo was taken outside the IHOP that we were on on the previous page. So they kind of went together. This is some more of that same Market Street collection. Sorry about the background noise. My son's watching some cartoons in the living room. This page is just me at the pool. This is actually the last page that I completed for the album other than the cover page. So. I just added a few little touches of gold glitter. This is me at my parents' pool. I loved this swimsuit paper. Um, and then starts where we went to Universal Studios. So to open that kind of section, I wanted to do like its own little title page. And that's, there's the Adventure Awaits that I mentioned earlier. I got our tickets on this page. Um, just some pictures at bus at the entrance to Universal Studios. Then going backwards just a little bit, right outside the Universal Studios entrance was the Universal City Walk, where happily they had Starbucks. So I got myself a coffee on the way in. Got the kids Cinnabon, but this is basically just about breakfast. I put the little City Walk thing there that I cut out of one of the maps or something. I had this Starbucks flare that I hadn't used and just thought this was the perfect place to do it. This is just the Springfield section of um, Universal. I took pictures of it for my husband mostly, but thought they looked cute in the album. And that's all just pattern paper. It's just photos and pattern papers. All this page is, period. Or pattern paper. Cardstock. It's just solid cardstock, and I thought it was cute. I punched the little hearts out of some of the leftover cardstock, and just thought it looked simple and good with all those photos. 
this I think is my absolute favorite photo in the whole album or favorite photo favorite page in the whole album I just love this page about the night bus I really I don't know why exactly but I just love it I like the font I like the way the photo is with the big chunk of journaling the night bus was like our first thing that we saw that was actually Harry Potter in the park and maybe it was a good memory I don't know I just really like the page oh and the broom goes because the head talked to my son about a broom because he's wearing a Quidditch shirt in case you didn't read the journal because I just took it by really fast just basic page with my kids in front of Hogwarts Castle used a bunch of those uh, laser cut embellishments and I forgot Get, I think it's called Paper Wizard is the company that makes those and I thought they were really cute us on the Hogwarts Express I like the big background paper of the train I punched out some more of those hearts out of the craft card stock I tried to kind of use some craft card stock in places sort of throughout that wanted to I was gonna make that something kind of a repeated theme and then it just didn't quite go on all of the pages so but this was I had more pictures of the train so I added another page I used the Gryffindor paper here because my son's wearing a Gryffindor shirt and you can just barely see him in this one photo and I just really thought it was neat <coughs> okay this page I think as my son said he it was his favorite page in the album he really likes this background with Harry and Ron and Hermione <coughs> because I made it out of one of the bags one of the plastic bags that we got at one of the shops when we bought things I flattened out the bag I cut it I mounted it on some cardstock and it made my background for the page so this is the same castle photo of my kids that was in another layout but it works and I liked the have you seen this wizard that was actually a one giant sticker that I cut the middle of it out of cut the middle out of to make it into a frame Ollivanders so this is the map that they give you if you buy an interactive wand that tells you where in the park the wand does different tricks this Ollivanders lab um word I cut out of one of the wand bags that they give to you uh, and I forget where I got this oh one of the flyers or something this is another one of those laser cut embellishments um, that's just a sticker simple but I really like it it's like a lot of memorabilia from the page the little straps that hold the map in are part of the bag as well so it's all kind of coordinated the leaky cauldron page this big hogwarts logo uh, crest whatever you call it came i cut it i fussy cut it out of a sheet of parchment that i bought in one of the shops that's just a huge sticker this is just my kids the way the journaling here says red hair and a bit of silliness you must be a weasley my son's being super super silly in this picture and both of these pictures are of the weasley we weasley's wizarding wheezes store so i liked it my son also said he really likes this page i don't know my daughter doesn't have an opinion apparently of these pages but uh he just likes the simplicity of it i think um, and it's cute at Butterbeer so it comes out Butterbeer the stuff of magic I used the um, tissue paper behind the photo kind of reminds me of the foam on the Butterbeer so this is just about me being a Slytherin me getting a dark mark fake tattoo this is one of the temporary tattoos I just put it on the paper and used it I bought a few extra because I'm kind of obsessed with them um, and I really loved this poster of Bellatrix and of course I had to use my Slytherin, pa Slytherin paper Gringotts so this page talks about how I really wanted to go on the Gringotts ride 
I was going to make my kids wait in line with me, uh, even though neither one of them wanted to ride the ride. It was kind of the end of our day. And unfortunately, I haven't quite lost enough weight yet that I fit. So I didn't get to go. But next time, and there will be a next time that we go to Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I'm so on that ride. On that ride. Anyway. Uh, but there is Gringotts Bank, the dragon breathes fire, of course. And this was just a money exchange thing. Now, why I didn't think to exchange a little bit of money to have some wizard money to use as some memorabilia because that would have looked really cool on this page. I don't know. I just didn't. Uh, Grimwald Place. So this is Sirius Black's house. This is actually the last thing we did in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, was see Grimwald Place. It's actually right across the street from the night bus, so we sort of began and ended with the same thing. And I stamped these little houses along the bottom just for something different and fun. And this is just that uh, smooshing technique where you kind of smash. And it's done with gelatos. So I kind of am using this page as an end piece for the Harry Potter Universalist area of it. This was one of the maps that they give you of the park. I cut the map out and these little photos, hopefully you can see them, are all kind of just little photos of us in those different areas of the park. So um, like I took a picture of the chocolate factory outside and it's kind of close to on the map where that chocolate factory is. This one here is sort of out of place because it would actually go down in here and I ran out of space. So that's the horror makeup show. Um, so the rest of them are pretty much aligned with where their events are. And then this is just a little bit of what we did at the very, very end of the day. We were just too tired to go anywhere else. So we... Uh, went back to our room at the Holiday Inn. My son ate his candy he'd gotten in Harry Potter World, his chocolate frog. He actually donated his chocolate frog card to our scrapbook. He got Salazar Slytherin. And we ordered pizza. So, that's it. Yes, I took a picture of the pizza that we ordered. And then I typed these out on my fancy typewriter. Nice, right? Um, yeah, so... This double page spread here um, is about the dolphin cruise that we went on on our last full day with my parents and my aunt. Um, the pages themselves are a kit from a couple of years ago from Scrapbook Generation. So this is just um, some little photos of the, the captain took, a couple of us at a time, me and my two kids, Reggie driving the boat, my mom met looking at the controls for the boat, my kids watching the dolphins, and then dolphins. And more dolphins. And all of us ready to go on the cruise, and my parents. So this double page is about my spouse and what he did while we were gone. So he didn't go with us. Uh, actually ended up he would have been able to because he was like changing jobs at the time, but he didn't. And so as we took pictures of things, he took pictures of himself uh, doing things to go along with what we did. So as we were on the plane, he took a picture of our plane. Uh, I took a picture of myself at the beach. He took a picture of him in a jacket and all cold and stuff. My lunch, his lunch... On this one, I posted mine, he posted his response, response, then two other people posted their responses, so two of my friends, so uh, I thought that was funny. Uh, I posted my dark mark tattoo, he drew a smiley face on his arm and posted, this was us at the door of Grimwald Place, he posted my front door, funny, right? Um... This one was us at the entrance to Universal, him in his kitchen cooking. He's a chef. Uh, I took a picture of the dolphins. He took a picture of the closest body of water. We took a picture with the Hogwarts Express. He posted a picture with the train. He went downtown here in Evansville and took that picture. Um, I took the picture of my kids and I on the boat. He took a picture on a boat. That's a gambling boat where we live. 
And anyway, I called the whole page Heenanigans. The journaling, the numbers like coincide with these journaling boxes have numbered that explains all of that. And then, the very last night we were there, Florida said goodbye to us with just a beautiful sunset. So, took some pictures of the gorgeous sunset and goodbye Florida. So that's it. That's my spring break album. That's all done and finished. And there it is. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and have a great day.